For me, the Paralympics at the time were all about my newest toy. A special edition doll in the Barbie range brought out to mark the Paralympics. At six years old, Becky, Barbie's friend, was special because I'd never had a doll that looked like me before. A girl in a wheelchair ready to take on the world. I grew up with uh, G.I. Joes and trucks and tractors and, you know, everything that, everything that was available at that point in time. Um, anything that could uh, withstand the ruggedness of car core, though. In his only interview to mark the anniversary, Kurt Fernley, who won two silver medals at the Sydney Games, recalls how it felt to wheel into that arena. I don't know whether it's nerves or anticipation. I, I would have felt, looking back on it, just a young, a young kid in a massive, massive machine on a massive stage. And it was really great to be at a home games and have your entire family and all your friends come and watch you. Even though she didn't win a medal in 2000, wheelchair racer Christy Dawes is still dreaming of gold at Tokyo in 2021. The only way to get race fit is to race. So I'm just trying to keep as fit as I can and the moment we're allowed to jump on a flight anywhere where we can race, I'll be on it. Just like the Paralympics anniversary, this year marks another milestone. A new doll in the wheelchair has been released. But this time, it's not Barbie's friend, but Barbie herself. It may have taken 20 years. But at least for any little girls in wheelchairs now, they can feel the same way I did when I met Becky. They too can have someone to play with who looks like them. Emma Myers, ABC News.